Hey guys, Untold Truth about Ken Namek here. Today we'll be doing a Ken Namek video where he complains about the way Pop Popeye is, is in this video. This is about three years before he made that commercial. Commercial he made this year, but this is one where he complains about the bi biscuits and everything. This is a video we call Ken Namek Hates Popeyes. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food review just for you. No, Ken, I believe it's just for you to make money off. I am in the awesome town of it Bradford, Ontario, Canada at a Popeyes. I was gonna do a sandwich, like a, I can't remember which sandwich I was gonna, the Creole sandwich or Creole sandwich. And as I walked in, there was a big poster on the wall, spice packed wings. And I'm like, I think uh, Sorry, the Creole sandwich is quite bumped because I want to get into this thing. The combo is seven forty nine after the Hold on. Hold on. And I'm like, I think uh, the Creole sandwich just got bumped because I want to get into this thing. He goes to that trademark logo. Like, steal a trademark logo. It's funny if you put it, I mean, you put it in your title, it's fine, but if you constantly use it, that little R stands for the copyright infringement again. And yet, you have to, I think, that means that only Popeyes owns that logo. They can be shown in commercials, but that's produced by them. Not for you, not for their logos that go into your videos, and you and you to make money off of the, of using their logo. That's against the law. Because that's the, their logo that Popeye, that Popeye's owns. And they do not give you the right to use it. Kendomic. Combo is seven forty nine after the Canadian taxes attack our budget. It's eight forty six. And it comes with, you can pick one of six uh, rain, uh, sauces. I think it comes with a sauce if you want more, they charge you for it. So this came with the six wings, the pop, or any kind of drink you want, uh, the ranch, the fries. And so I got iced tea. I wanted to go with iced tea. Show the logo. <sighs> really? Logo. Smells. And there it goes almost again. Whoosh. Whoosh. They can't that sound like Kendomic stealing the company's trademark logo. That's definitely good. You know what I'm saying? Like that deep fried craziness. When you walk in there, your heart starts fluttering, your 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 veins start to thicken. Sorry about the last video guys. I was trying to get it to premiere, but it didn't work. This video will be premiering. So hi everyone that's watching the premiere later. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's the smell of deep fried chicken. All right, so here we go. Louisiana Kitchen Popeyes. Look at that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, check out that extreme close up. Ugh, I hate when it is the extreme close up. Oh my god. Of the spice packed wings. So it looked like they just did their normal wings, but at the last second before they close the lid on this sucker. They dusted it. You can see the light dusting there. I think she it was heavy. I've moved them around because they were buried on amazing biscuit and those amazing fries. Let's get into those. Just straight up fries. Oh, look at the seasoning. Oh, Cajun. Popeyes, you do have a good fry. Let me tell you. Mm. Mm. All right, I'm going to try it with this ranch. What did I get? The blackened? Yeah, the blackened ranch. Hmm. Let's double check in there. Time for the stealing the little trim here logo again. Biscuit. Oh, let's see if that it looks seems dry. She took it from a tray that looked like maybe it's been there for a while. Oh, Popeyes. Please don't tell me you gave me a really old biscuit. It didn't break apart nicely. It seemed a little bit on the crumbly dry side. And here we go. Ken's about to complain about Popeye's biscuits not breaking apart or the way he wants it to. So what? They still taste good. If you don't like them, go inside and they'll give you new ones. You're not going to complain because they're not breaking apart the way you want them to. Like, what kind of food reviewer are you, Ken? Just 
Ugh. Please. Here we go. Yeah. You just wrecked my lunch. Thank you, Popeyes. No, Ken, you wrecked your own lunch by by complaining about everything. You couldn't easily move back inside and tell them I hate these biscuits. It's not cooked properly. Which it is, you're just complaining because it won't break apart properly. I'm surprised they even wanted you to commercial. They probably didn't see it this video. If you complain about their biscuits, and they probably, if they want to know in the way you are, they probably wouldn't have let you be in one of their commercials. Wow. That was the crummiest, <laughs> no pun intended, biscuit I've ever had from Popeyes. So if the people that own, Steal logo again. own this Popeyes, that the only Popeyes in this area in Bradford is only one. So if those people actually watch this. Of course, Kenny, you're in that Bradford, Ontario. Bradford, Ontario. Of course. This video, don't ever give people a dry, crusty biscuit, please. So what? And now you're going to yell at Popeyes and, and yell all the hard workers that work there in the, in the Popeyes location in Bradford, Ontario. It's because they give you a little dry vest or dry biscuit. Leave them alone, Ken. A lot of the people there that work there only make minimum wage. It's a job that just maybe they can just afford to pay where they live or barely. We're not all big YouTubers. Not, we're not all big YouTubers like you, and make a little bit of money. So if you don't like it, then go back in, and get a new one. Don't see your complaint and call out the Papa Popeyes employees for just because you had a dry biscuit, you dumbass. That'll make people not come back. All right. So as you can see, this side doesn't have the dusting. This side does. So I'm gonna bite the dusting side. You mean the salted side? Salted side? Salted side? Sorry, I can't talk to it either. The salted side can. Give that a shot. Here we go. I dusted. Really, like, you just don't say things right, Ken. Oh. It's the seasoned side. Mm. I saw them making this fresh, so. I knew this was going to be super hot. <coughs> it's hot. <coughs> it's like they just put cayenne pepper on it. Woo! Holy shnikey. Oh, look at that steam. Because you ordered spicy chicken again. That's why it's hot. Because it with the... It's some kind of like cayenne pepper seasoning and... Like, maybe some, did you have that Frank's red hot powder? Or I don't know what, I don't know what Popeye's uses. But yes, Ken, it's supposed to be hot. Steam. You can just see the steam? Wow. Scratch it? No, we don't really see the steam. And do I really care to see it again? It's obviously hot because you just got, you just probably came out of the oven. Or, excuse me, the deep fryer. Fit, the rest is mine. Oh my goodness. Oh, crazy hot. I'm going in for the dip. Oh, look at that. Oh, there was a specific sauce that was supposed to come with this, but they ran out. So not only are there buns or their biscuits. Oh, uh, here you go again. Now you're complaining because they don't have the sauce you wanted. You gotta act like the ass you are. And, get, and blame all the poor employees that make only a minimum wage there. Because I didn't have a damn sauce that you wanted. Ken, shut up. Just be quiet, man. Like, what kind of food review are you? Like, this is when I was a fan, but... I just started to realize you were always in... And ass like you were. I should have known this a long time ago. I'd never been a fan of you. Dry. And crappy. But they also ran out, so... But they have this, and but they ran out of sauce. So I'm not sure how long it's been on sale for or uh, been advertised. You just can just commit it. We all know you hate Popeyes, don't you? 
but they ran out. Maybe they only bought four. I don't know. Mmm. This is really good, but don't eat it every day, people. Not a good idea. Couple more fries. Little more dip. Mmm. Tastes better without the dip. For the on the fries anyway. This one didn't seem to get as much of the dusting. It's not dusting, it's seasoning. Dumbass. Hmm. I'm gonna go for one that got like a crazy amount of dusting. That first one was pretty good. This one's not bad. You can see the orange as opposed to the brown. Orange? Brown. Orange? Brown. What are you doing? Like, you, you act like a child all the time. Only in spam. Make you poopers. Hey, you. Okay, baby. Okay. You act like a man, child, man. You act like a little kid. Like, just something that a little kid would do, Ken. I mean, what, like, what, what, what are you doing? This is why you, you think you're 500,000 subscriber uh, YouTuber in your videos. Let's see how much this one guy has right now. Well, this one has 100,000, but you're lucky now, but over a few years. And your recent videos get maybe 32,000 views. And you're losing subscribers right now. And you're saying you're fasting, but then look at the last few 24 hour challenges you did. Well, I shouldn't say 24 hours, so not even 12 hours. Because you can go home. The real 24 hour challenges where you actually go for 24 hours, you eat like breakfast, lunch, and supper, and some snacks. And you let the person in front of you order what you eat. All day for 24 straight hours, but you just try to follow a trend, whatever is going on. Next time, I think if I was to order this ever again, I'd ask them to like throw it in a bowl, dust it, flip it a couple times. Seasoned or salted is a more a per, is a more uh thing way to describe it. Can not dusted. They're seasoned. It's... I'm just dusted some more. That would be good because it's only on one side and that's kind of pissing me off as well. A lot of uh, anger in this one for you. Can rage offer crying out loud. More like Ken man trying to moment. Like you've just got to complain about everything. Why are you a food reviewer if you just get to review stuff and not like it and complain all the time? Like, I know some of the food you like, but you can, if it's not the food, you can find out what the price is. Just stop doing food reviews. You only admit it to the, us that you were bored of doing them. Go back to doing cat videos or something, or roller like your videos. Just for you! Alright, let's go on for another bite. Mmm, yup. The dusting is what makes it, people. Seasoning. That is really, really good. Popeyes, you nailed that dusting. Man, if this was K D D K D D E, and every time they said dusting, they said the right term, we'd be at so many shots right now. <laughs> Boy. And it's better way to stop striking his K. Just Ken Domic, if you're watching this, I know you watch my videos. Stop striking K. Ken Domic dissemination. Expose's videos, his reaction channel, it's fair use. But look at you stealing trademark logos. That's illegal. You see a little artist down there. That means that Popeye's own, owning Popeye's Louisiana Ch Kitchen owns this logo. Ow! Mm. Uh. Uh, man! What the? What are you doing, Ken? Are you taking a shit? Or are you trying to rip apart your wing? Eat meat! Uh, ow! Crazy hot! Ah. <coughs> it's nowhere near. I don't think it's over here. Really hot, Ken. And if, it, and if it's really hot, why do you have to put up this little message? We can only talk about your face. We don't need to know. 
every once in a while, the powder just hits the back of your throat and makes you want to choke. Mm. I always like to ask you guys, do you like the, the drumettes or the wingettes? So this is like the upper arm and then there's the forearm with the two. No one cares, can People just like wings. They don't care how they are, most people. We're not all like you. Two bones in it? Let us know in the comments below. Get a conversation going. If I had to say I like my wings boneless wings. Yeah, I'm still questioning Ken. When people get a conversation going. I like these wings enough to give you- Oh really? I doubt that. Because you spent most of this video complaining about Popeyes and insulting the staff that worked there because they gave you dry biscuit or because of that particular location didn't have the sauce left because sometimes they have promotional items that are only sorry guys a limited time only sorry we're having a storm storm where i am right now so that's why all these alerts are coming up so that's so anyways yeah promotional items only, only come for a limited time, amount of time get over it again maybe you missed out you can come on right time and then run a special sauce. You got the chicken. Stop complaining. You guys are special. One o'clock in the morning shout out by just for you. Are you ready? I hope you're not hungry watching this. I like to twist. No, Ken, no one's ever hungry while watching your piece of shit videos. Twist. Pull that bone like this. There's Ken taking shit in pants, or is he ripping part of the wing? You can never tell this. No one does that, Ken. That's just, just you. Oh, yeah. And then just put that aside just for a second. And then get this piece over here. Get that one. Pull this off. Oh, yeah. And then it's all meat, skin. Just ask for boneless wings next time. I'm not sure Popeyes makes it, but... You seem like the type. That's what I would get, what I get when I go for wings. Breading and spices. Are you Wait, why am I making suggestions for you? I don't like you, but you just shouldn't be refusing food anymore because you don't know about food. Lightly dusted. There's you can say salted or seasoned wings again. Are you ready? Again, just for you. Oh, for... Mm. No one watches their videos at 1 a.m. in the morning is hungry again. Nobody. Stop doing this crap. No one cares. I like the wing at that. Not bad, clean. I can't do the same with the, with the drum at. <laughs> Down to two napkins, people. I'm doomed. I am starving. I'm gonna polish the rest of this off and I'll be right back. Hang on! King Dogs speed up footage. Who cares about his videos? He speeds up because it's too stupid. Da 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 he sucks. He sucks, sucks, sucks. Ken is an idiot. They're not even a real food reviewer. It's like a, doomed. It's like a I am star- Take pictures there. But for some reason, and you're- and you're- Biscuits are all. Oh my god, again, Ken. Leave, leave them alone. Man, so what? You got one dim dry biscuit. Big whoop de doo. It's not gonna ruin your whole lunch. You, if you can been acting like a real man and went back in there and said, you know what, excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but the biscuit you gave me is dry. Is it okay if I can, can I get, please, get a new one? And if this, I'm sure they'll say, oh, sure, sure, sir. We're so sorry. And then you get a new biscuit. Is that easy, Ken? But are you that much of a child that you're not smart enough to think about that, man? They wouldn't give you a new one if you went inside. I still would have ate it anyways. And I probably wouldn't have told them. I said, the biscuit was a little bit dry, but I said, I said, oh, sorry, you want a new one? No, it's okay. Cause I'm not like wanting it to go to make you that's gonna complain about eat it anyways. Because you know how hard people that 
work to make them that when you make a minimum wage job and they work so hard to make it and then mention them seeing this video, seeing your video and listening and then listening to you complain you haven't really you you don't work at day in your real job in your life can't I mean, you have the, the, the district school board, but I wouldn't call it that much hard work because you were mostly on calls, but you wouldn't know how a fast food job works like. I mean, I haven't, but imagine some of the customers that deal with, like you, and when you're getting paid minimum wage, it's a very stressful job. And like, especially like right, right now, with you going out, not wearing a mask, gloves, and, pe and coming, like, the last video when you were at Burger King, but you were so close, your hair was so close to them, and you, you could easily spread the, the virus in them, and then you say, oh, they're all wearing, oh, they're all wearing masks in there. Do you ever wear your mask? I seen you one time in your home, posted a picture, say, coming that's your stomach. Like, you make fun of this virus all the time, Ken. You just need to be banned for YouTuber in trouble with the law or something. Because this is ridiculous. Always a go out and get it now until today. You always have to talk about things that are wrong with the food. No, you don't. You need to shut the hell up. Ken, no one, you all hate to see you, you complain about shit all the time. Every video has got to be something. If it's not the food, it's the price, it's the service. Shut up and get off YouTube. And that is wrong. I've never, ever had. Then go back in and get a new one, you dumbass. What I told you. You're obviously not much of a real man. Because you, you were a real grown man, 50 year old man. Like you're, you are. You went in and got a new one. It's that simple again. A bun like that or a biscuit from... Bun, biscuit, can. So you can't even get that right either. Uh, from Popeyes, so please Popeyes. Whether Pop... Please Pop, you know what? Please Popeyes. Please ban, ban this idiot here. Always complains about your food. Even when he did an uncut raw video about your Chicken, this is the idiot you allowed to be in a commercial. I am so sorry for you guys. You deserve better. And to, if all the fast food employees are working in that Bradford, Bradford location, you have my deepest apologies for this man here. Complain about your biscuit. I still want to be I'm talking about the biscuits you guys make. I still want to eat it. It's okay, but... This guy's going to review food and it's one little thing is wrong if it. you're going to hear him have a fit like a baby man child. With that guys, that's going to be it for the Kenomic Hates Popeyes video. And we'll see you in the next one, which will be tomorrow. You guys got two, two videos tonight. Bonus. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.